Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechah Kodash, and double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. Honors, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect, starting with the 144,000 prophets and the rest of the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation, who are standing in the Holy Spirit and keeping the faith of Yahweh Shai day in and day out. So, um, you know, uh, sure, brothers and sisters have already heard this by now, but for the ones who haven't, uh, there has been a uh, major uh, telecommunications um, outage in uh, the United States. All right. Uh, currently affecting, I think, the uh, most uh, AT&T, as you see here, it says breaking reports of major AT&T outage in the U.S., AT&T is currently exper experiencing a nationwide outage affecting several major cities. People are not able to even dial 911. All right. It says this is this was confirmed to us by Erie County, New York. 911 has told us that uh, told us first net, which is a network that connects first responders. First responders is being affected by this outage. All right, your below message was received by a close friend in New York, uh, in California. So, um, yeah, let's see. <laughs> let's listen to this. Attention. But still, pay insufficient attention to the frightening scenario of a comprehensive cyber attack, which would bring to a complete halt to the power supply transportation, hospital services, our society as a whole. The COVID-19 crisis would be seen in this respect as a small disturbance in comparison to a major cyber attack. To use the COVID-19 crisis as a timely opportunity to reflect on the lessons of cybersecurity community can draw and improve our impreparedness for a potential cyber pandemic but still so you know that was a uh, as you see there uh claus schwabi warning uh of a major cyber attack back in 2020 okay so um i got another video coming from uh dabu seven and this uh, speaks on other actual um, social medias and, and telecommunication companies that also has has been affected by this um, this this uh, recent outage that happened uh, earlier this morning. You know, while while you were sleeping. All right, and um, you know, brothers have uh, warned, all right, through the through the Holy Spirit, uh, uh, you know, of something potentially potentially as as a uh, cyber attack happening and actually you even have the you know the officials of of america also warning about this as well you know them, them telegraphing it because you know a lot of them we know that this devil uses um you know predictive programming and uh uh trying to be like the most high you know uh, uh declaring things before they happen so um let's listen to this from dabu seven it's only about two minutes long this is Dabu 7. Today we have reports of a massive outage here that started with AT&T and its network that has spread to Cricket, Verizon, Consumer Cellular, T-Mobile, Boost, U.S. Cellular, Straight Talk. We even have places like Google and others seeing a spike in their traffic as well. So this goes beyond AT&T. This goes into webs. Apple support, track phone, even Google Fiber seeing a spike here, Destiny, Spectrum, which is cable service, and even X. So this is kind of widespread here across the board with a lot of different places seeing effects of this. Now, a lot of people on the AT&T network, they can only make emergency calls. So it's like SOS mode only emergency call only and a lot of other places as you can see here are affected so this is not just at&t
So no calls could be made at the moment. Systems are down. This is going to be kind of widespread, but kind of patchy, I would think, where people in different areas may have a little bit of signal. People in other areas may have none. We'll have to wait and see how long this takes. Some are asking, is this the beginning or beta tests for what we're expecting in the offing? Regardless, this is what's going on right now. This is the latest. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for updates to this. And join me on the live streams exclusively. On Okay, so now um, I had a uh, article here come from the Epic Times. Right, because as you saw, there was a uh, um, Verizon and T-Mobile that was on that um, down detector uh, website. But when you uh, actually go into the article, a lot of um, let's read a little bit. It says users of T-Mobile and Verizon 2 were reporting outages on Thursday, but it appears that AT&T and Cricket, which use the same network, were suffering the most, according to down detector. As of Thursday at 9 a.m., which is today. Uh, Eastern Time, about 74,000 users reported AT&T outages, while more than 13,000 crickets users reported the same the website showed. A few thousand T-Mobile and Verizon customers also reported outages the website shows. Down Detector only records self-reported uh, service outages, so the actual number of people without service is likely much higher. It's often used by customers who can't access a network service app or website in a statement to several news outlets on thursday at&t confirmed the outage and urged users to use wi-fi calling in the meantime some of our customers are experiencing wireless service interruptions this morning we are currently urging uh, ur urgently we are so lucky we are working urgently to restore service to them it said in a statement at&t outage webs uh Outage web page includes a notice that some customers in your areas are having trouble making or receiving calls. As a result, we are experiencing long hold, uh, long hold times. We apologize for this inconvenience and we are working to resolve this issue. T-Mobile and Verizon said that they were not suffering outages. We did not experience an outage, T-Mobile told news outlets. Our networks are operating normally. Down Detector is likely, likely reflecting challenges our customers we're having attempting to connect to users on other networks, T-Mobile told Fox News. Verizon Network is operating normally. Verizon told outlets Thursday some customers experienced issues this morning when calling or texting with customers served by another carrier. We are continuing to monitor the situation. It is not clear why AT&T's network is down or how long it would take to restore service while while reports have indicated that the outage has impacted public services and government officials. See that? They remember how the uh, the Congress got, you know, radio radio um radio phones uh, earlier last year. All right, that's something to always have, you know, have in the back of your mind when certain things like this happen because it is a uh, uh, an indication that they are anticipating you know, some uh, some type of telecommunication uh, problem, you know, uh, to take place where they still will be able, right, the ones in the know are, uh, will still be able to have uh, ability to communicate while the masses of people are left, you know, in the dark, right? <laughs> the, the ones in the dark are left in the dark, all right? And, and it's, uh, you know, spiritual because, um, you know, this is actually something that I, I've been uh, thinking about uh, lately. You know, I even told a couple of brothers on Monday, um, you know, about a potential, and I was just, you know, just speaking through the spirit, you know, potential uh, telecommunications and how if, if something, something to that effect did happen, you know, hey, we, we won't, we, we, we more than likely won't, won't be able to get in contact with each other. Cause you know, brothers live in different, uh, parts of the state and some brothers live in different states, you know, um, a, a, in a whole, but all in all for us that has this knowledge and truth, we understand because of the times that we're in and because of the wisdom and knowledge let's get that that when things like this happen it, it doesn't it doesn't move us all right it doesn't phase us in a way that we become you know agitated or or we become fearful isaiah 33 verse 6 is the reason the wisdom it says in wisdom and knowledge and salaki it says in wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability 
all right, of thy times, okay? So that's going to be our foundation and strength of salvation. So in order to uh, be delivered, to have salvation, we need to be, uh, 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 you know, on a strong foundation. And that strong foundation is the knowledge and wisdom that we have through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, of knowing what the times are, understanding that we are entering into perilous times, all right, a time of trouble. Okay, it says the fear of Yahweh is his treasure. So fearing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is where we store our treasures, is where our riches is at. All right, it's not in this world, it's not in the uh, operations of this world because we know that, that hey, as Paul said, that the, the fashions of this world uh, uh, are fading away. All right. And we also know that the Lord is bringing plagues, judgments, all right, uh, uh, his indignation upon this place and upon the people. And ma majority of people who are not aware, as the scripture says, uh, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction shall come upon them as a woman that comes, you know, as a, as a woman that, you know, travail with child and they shall not escape. All right. And the fact that they won't be able to escape is going to cause them to be what? Uh, uh, um you know, distraught, okay? As Proverbs, the first chapter said, when your fear comes upon you, because not being able to communicate, all right? <laughs> first off, you know, people are, are are addicted to their phones, okay? And we use it, you know, I'm always on my phone, so I can't even act like that I'm not as well, right? But you have a lot of people who are literally addicted to it, right? People who, if they are not able to go on the phone, you know, or go through social media or text, right, or, or call somebody, it, it will cause a very traumatic experience for them, all right, a mental breakdown. So something like this happening out of nowhere, <laughs> a lot of people are, you know, being caught unawares, they're going to, you know, resort to, to you know, being a very unstable, and then that uh, unstable of the mind will cause, you know, chaotic, uh, um, you know, chaotic uh, um, reaction, a, cha a chaotic reaction amongst the masses of people. OK, so um, let's read a little bit here. Oh, oh, it's another thing. As it says here, it says multiple law enforcement agencies posted mes messages on social media warning about outages in their respective areas. For example, the Flagler County Sheriff's Office in Florida wrote that AT&T is, is experiencing an outage. Subscribers are unable to call or text 911. Okay, and that some that was something that was happening in multiple uh, parts of the country where they were not able to people you know that are AT and T users were not able to get in contact with 911. So what happens if there's a you know a, a dire emergency, a life or death situation you know emergency, and somebody has an uh, AT and T service? It's just like that, they're asked out. Just like that, you know, there is no help on the way for them. Okay, and this is just one, you know, service or one carrier. What happens when it's, you know, multiple or, or all of these uh, telecommunications uh, companies? All right, and this is why, once again, that knowledge and wisdom, all right, uh, uh, will be the stability of our times. Okay, and the fact that is only going to be through. The grace, mercy, and uh, strength and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai that we are able to escape these things. As Yahweh Shai said, watch therefore and pray always that you are able that you are found worthy to escape. All right, because not everybody's gonna be found worthy. Majority of people are gonna be found unworthy, and that's why the majority of people are gonna get caught up when they're in in in, uh, in this uh, wrath, all right, in this um, desolation, all right, in their fear. Okay, so uh, one last thing, right? Long-term blackouts. Ten it says long-term blackouts, 10 terrifying realities you must prepare for. Now, this is pretty lengthy, so I'm not going to read. I'm not going to listen to the whole thing. But this is something that even a lot of people don't even take into consideration as well. All right. He mentioned, you know, sewage backup, uh, you know, running water stops, uh, garbage and, you know, garbage, uh, uh, you know, piling up, which can cause uh, bacteria and, pest and pests to come around which can cause uh, uh, different diseases, um, confiscation of uh, firearms because the uh, government may institute a martial law if the, if the blackout lasts long enough. All right, but he also mentions, which I'll go to that point, telecommun telecommunications going down, okay? 
Let's see, let's start from right. Or cell service. You will only be able to run your phone against an attack. Bows, arrows, crossbows, spears, and knives at the end of poles if you have to. But your best option is to hide your firearms. There are all sorts of hiding spots in every single home. So right here is it. Next Number one. six is no internet or cell service. You will only be able to run your phones, tablets, and laptops for as long as the batteries last. And as long as your generator lasts, for that matter. That's also not to mention that Wi-Fi and cell service will be gone for as long as there's a blackout. Simply put, you're going to need to get used to a world without internet, emailing, text, social media, and so on. How many people are able to do that to get, you know, as soon as, you know, Instagram or, or something goes down, people, you know, Facebook or, you know, I even seen it to where Pornhub went down and then people ran to uh, um, Twitter and um uh, was complaining right and 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 anytime one of these social media websites you know has an outage you see people flocking to a, you know one another social media uh outlet right um their their uh, traffic goes up because once again people are 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 accustomed and addicted to these things so for them to be getting to be able to get used to a world like this, it won't, it's not going to be something that majority of people are just going to be able to uh, do. You're right. And once that, and a, hey, and also you have a lot of single, and we always mention it, a lot of single women, right. That live by themselves that are, you know, have this notion that, you know, because they're able to connect to the outside world through telecommunications that, you know, they're, they're, they're safe. Well, well, for the thousands, the hundreds of thousands of people that have AT and T, and these women, right, that are single, <laughs> I bet you when this happened, they were afraid. All right, remember this? this they said it was about uh, you know seventy five thousand people that reported it, and therefore uh, a larger amount more people than that than that was actually affected. You don't think out of these hundred thousands of people that there wasn't one or two? that were, you know, actually fearful for their life during this time. And this was only, you know, something that's been going on. I believe it started uh, like around 1.30 in the morning. So it's only been going on for about nine hours. What happens when it's nine days? Okay. And like I said, you had the FBI um, director say that, you know, the, the a potential cyber attack may take place because, you know, Chinese hackers and uh, Russian hackers. Okay. You guys still at the Middle East. Uh, uh, you know, uh, countries that have been warning or are threatening to attack America's infrastructure. So, hey, hey you <laughs> you have a lot of of different avenues of potential chaos brewing up in Babylon the Great, and yet people are still in, under this mindset that you know, nothing will happen. But just like this, this just goes to show you how quickly something you know, like this can can alter uh, people's reality, right? It can alter the way that you are operating in, in your day-to-day -day life, all right? And 911 won't even be able to get to you because if you can't contact, if your phone don't work and people don't have landlines like that anymore, right? That's, that's becoming a thing of the past, you know, having a, a house phone. So if you're not able to get in contact, you know, uh, if your only way to, to communicate is through your cell phone, and then that service goes out. <laughs> what are you going to do? OK, and this is what we are constantly telling you what is about to happen here in America. So um, I think that Instead, was it. On that you're going to find yourself needing to rely on alternative communication sources to stay in touch with others and the outside world. And people don't have such that as CB radios and ham radios. Now, number seven. Nope. Is See, so people don't have that uh, uh, alternate um, way to communicate. All right. Because people are just accustomed to the the normal everyday um luxuries and conveniences that come in america hey but the lord said <laughs> it, you know uh uh in your security you should be destroyed right they should say when they say peace peace and there shall be none all right let me get this here in the book of Ecclesi uh, Salakia, uh ezekiel 7 verse um where is it Verse five, it says, thus saith Yahweh God, power and evil, right, which is a bad time and only evil. Behold, is come. The end is come. The end is come. It watcheth for thee. Behold, it is come. OK, 
So only evil is coming. All right. And, uh, and the ones who are not aware of it, the ones who, you know, uh, 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 believe that, uh, you know, they 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 have, you know, uh, uh, they trust in the shadow of Egypt. Right. They trust in 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 in, in this uh, broken reed. They're going to be the ones that get caught up in it, man. All right. But, you know, with that, Lord willing, I'm in it there. This is edifying unto the elect. Give it all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Rakakwadash. Shalom.